I have a great video today for critical thinkers, not so much for emotional thinkers. When the life of a newly conceived baby is the question today, my body, my choice is the argument that I see and hear the most. In this video, I will factually break this argument down. And you guys need to see this video until the very end. But first, I'd like you guys to hit that subscribe button and please share this video with a friend. My body, my choice. God and society gives us humans the dignity of choice. But please tell me, what's dignified about making selfish and irresponsible choices? especially when the purpose of human life is to procreate. Even in this matter, we can make responsible choices. Question, can the natural programming of our species to procreate cancel out our reasoning to make a choice? And are there viable examples of that here on Earth. I remember back in school, we had some visitors from UNICEF, a humanitarian organization, and they were teaching us about the uh, Ethiopian famine. And we as elementary school students, we had two questions. The first question was, why were there so many babies with big bellies? And the second question was, why were there so many women that appeared to be pregnant? Now, you would think that the last thing these women would want to do is bring a baby into the world that's destined to starve to death. And the man from UNICEF said, impending death of the species creates a natural urge to procreate in order to save the species. In that extreme case, choice is canceled out. Let me reiterate, as humans, we do have a choice to make a dignified, responsible decision. And that's to practice safe, responsible sex. I do believe that the purpose of mankind ultimately is to procreate. And our female species is the vehicle to bring our new human life to term. Therefore, at the moment of conception, that body no longer belongs to the woman. It now belongs to that baby, the future of mankind. This forum is now open for discussion. Thank you very much.